Hey everyone, in today's app video, I wanna show you this app called Filmer, which is a video editor right on your phone. It's just a mobile app for video editing. And I've actually been editing professionally for 13 years. So every time these types of app come out or they're featured by Apple, or I make a video about them on this channel, I really dive deep to learn how to use them to see how they compare to the professional editors that I use. This one I found really easy to use. So if you've never edited before and you wanna use your phone to edit videos together, this is a good way to get started. So let me show you exactly how to use this app. And as usual, at the end of the video, I'll give you my rating from one to five. So it's spelled F-I-L-M-R. Look for it in the app store. I'm going to open it here. And it may ask you to give it access to photos or videos if you wanna use those to edit with. You could just give it access to your whole library if you want to. And this has Filmer Pro, which is a paid version of this app. So you can use it for free, but I'll show you some paid options that are built into it too, that you may want to use. I'll press X here to go to the main page. Now, right inside of this page, you have two options. You could get access to the camera. So if I press camera over here, I could give it access. And I have some options on the bottom. Let me actually put my hand in front of this. So you could record normal, which is you just press this here and it's recording a clip. I'll press that again. You could do fast motion or you could do slow motion or you could loop. So those are your options if you wanna just use this to record. I usually don't use any of these apps to record videos. I just use the camera on my phone to record, which is what I did downstairs with the chess set so I could have some clips to work with. So let me go back. And the other way to get clips here, if you don't wanna use this app to record them, is the camera roll. So I'm going to select that, and I give it access to all the little clips I wanna bring in. So I could actually select all of them here and bring them in. So I'll do that, and I'll press continue. So at this point, this is how the editing takes place. If you look on the bottom, the very first clip that's highlighted in blue, that's clip number one. And then if I scroll down, you could see all the different clips up to clip 13. At any time, if I didn't bring all of them in, I could press the plus sign here and bring in more clips from my camera roll or the camera option inside of this that I just showed you a second ago. So that's usually step number one. You record all your clips and then you bring them into your video editor, which is this app. Now, we usually want to change the order of our clips and it's very easy to do that. All you have to do is for example, I'm gonna bring clip number 13 to be clip number one. So I could select clip number 13 here and press down and I'll just drag it all the way up here to make it clip number one. So now that's clip number one. To preview it, right on top, I could press play and it will play that individual clip here, as you could see. Now I'll go ahead and pause up here. So that's gonna be my very first clip, kind of establishing the chess set. For clip number two, it's for later in the video, so I'm gonna grab the three dots, press and hold down, and I'll bring this all the way near the bottom, so clip number 10. So this is how you would move your clips up and down in your edit. Now you see that box right here on top? I could scroll through all my different clips and see my edit as is right now. So this is my first clip, this is my second clip, and as you could see, I'm going through my whole edit right here. Now, what if you want to make a clip shorter? Let's say you got the order down, I'm not gonna take time to make all 13 in the right order, but once you do, let's say I wanna make this first clip shorter. All I have to do with the clip selected I just take this arrow on the left. This is gonna change when the clip starts, so I'll start a little bit later. And when the clips end, I'll just bring that arrow right here in. So now if I take this white box and put it in the very beginning and press play, this is gonna be my first clip, short, and go to the second clip. And let me pause it here. Another thing I wanna show you, sometimes you wanna zoom into that clip. Maybe the clip is too wide. So how do you do that? You could just press the crop option right here in the clip viewer and zoom into the video. So let's say this is how far I wanted to zoom into the video. And now let me go ahead and press play and the clip is much, much tighter. And it's just gonna continue to play the other clips in that order as I've laid it out. So, so far, those are the three steps. You import the clips, which I showed you how to bring them all in or record your own. Then you want to put them in the order you want and then you trim them down. So you change the beginning where the clip starts and the end where the clip ends. That's the basic editing of using this app. So what else do we have to work with while we're on here? 
Well, we could add transitions between clips. Right now, this is just called a cut. When one clip ends and another one starts, that's a cut. You would typically see cuts in movies and a lot less transitions. Usually transitions take place from one clip to another clip. So you could see from clip one to clip two, it says add transition. So if I press that, I could add different transitions here. A lot of them are going to require the paid option, however. So let me go here and dissolve is one of the most common transitions. Let me choose that. And just like that, it's added a dissolve between my two clips. Let's go ahead and press play. You can see that's called a dissolve where it just fades in from one clip to another clip. You have a bunch of other ones again that are part of the paid option, but some are very useful. You could always change the duration of the dissolve if you want it to be longer. So I'll do a two second dissolve here and I'll press play. You could see what the difference is. It's a big, big dissolve. Now I typically stay away from all transitions when I'm telling a story as a professional editor, but again, these do come in handy for making family videos, for example. Another thing you could do on this page with any video clip selected, you could press these three dots right here and you could delete a clip. You could add effects or filters. You could change the speed here and there's some more advanced option like adding grain defocusing a clip. Another useful option here, I'll do it with this clip actually, clip number two. Let me press the three dots. You could split a clip. So sometimes a whole clip needs to be split into two clips for you to be able to have more control. So the split option lets you basically take the clip and make it two clips. So I'll press the check mark here and it just made that into two different clips for me. Filters is useful here. You could change things to black and white, for example, or make it more vibrant, for example. One of my favorite things here is it says apply to all clips. So you usually don't want to have multiple clips in the video have different filters or effects. So you would say apply to all the different clips in your video here so they all look the same. Removing filter is just this right here so that removed it. Let me go back and you have effects as well. So a lot of different options here. I'm not going to go through them. A lot of them require the paid upgrade but you could explore these on your own. Simply just select one of them and then it will apply it to the clip and you could see if you like it before and after you applied the effect to the clip. Okay, let's go to the next part now that we have a good understanding how to put our video together. On top, the next step after that is audio. So let's go to that. And you could record your voiceover by giving it access to your microphone here. A lot of times you wanna import music. So press music and then on the bottom you'll have the option to add your own music. So press play and you could bring in music right here by pressing music and it's gonna give you some options to free music. So I do have a membership to Epidemic Sound and I'll put a link in the description to that if you wanna learn more. But if you're making videos for YouTube, for example, a lot of times you can't just use any sound, any song that you find online and you're going to get a strike on YouTube. So it's recommended to buy the music or have copyright free music that you could use. So Epidemic Sound is an example of what that would be like. So let me just choose a song here. Let's go ahead over here and I'll just press plus next to this song and it's gonna download the music and add it to my video. And again, just like the previous clips we edited, we could change where it starts and where it ends. Voiceover again, you could press that and then record the voiceover as you watch your video. That's very useful that it has that built in right here. You just press tap to record and just like that, it's going to give you a countdown. And if I talk right now, you could see it's going to record my voiceover on top of the video. Okay, let's go to the next tab, which is text. So typically videos first, then you work with audio, music, voiceover. Then you have text, which you could type in text here. So you could change the color of the text again. You could change the font. A lot of these are paid. Let me choose one of these bigger fonts here. I could use my two fingers to shrink the font and I could change the duration of the font to go through different clips here if I change that down here. In this case, I decided I don't want the text. So you have an undo option here. So this little arrow over here would let me undo all the different things I just did till my text is gone. Now let's go to the over option. This lets you do a couple of things. You could add stickers, which if you've used social media, you're familiar with, or you could do video in video. Video in video is when you have one video as your main video and another video inside of that. Picture in picture sometimes it's called. Let's go to format. Format is very, very important to understand and to use. Right now, this whole time I've been editing this video has been on the story format, but I shot all my videos for YouTube in landscape format. So I need to go over here to landscape format. Now you could see it's the right size 
And I could go back and edit some of my videos that way. If I press play, you could see now it's in 16 by nine format or landscape format. Let me go back to format one more time. You have square format, which is this one over here. And you could see again, landscape for YouTube, Facebook has landscape, Facebook also has vertical, especially with Facebook stories, but it really depends on where you wanna go with this video. Know that first before you start this whole process, or you could just change it later on once we get to this page. Finally, let me show you how to actually export this video from here to somewhere else. Press the up arrow, that's your last option. And these are all your different choices. Again, as long as your aspect ratio or the size is right, you could go to any one of these. Now, Filmer has a watermark too, so you could turn that off, but again, it requires Filmer Pro. I usually recommend pressing save right here because you could save your video and then from there go to different platforms. Now, you could do 1080p or 4K. My footage on my iPhone was shot in 4K, so that's why I have that option. And then your frame rate, 30 frame is fine in this case, I'll press OK and it's going to export and prepare my video to be ready to be posted anywhere I want. Now, anytime you're done with a project, you just press the home icon and it's gonna show all the different projects you've created here. You could always delete any project you want or tap it to jump back in and make further edits to it. I've reviewed a lot of editing apps and I'm gonna give this one a five out of five. Now, I don't know if I could get off my professional video editor on my computer here to edit on my phone, but if I was to use my phone for editing, this had just about everything I could think of, and it made it really easy, especially kind of with this timeline of having your clips in order and you just move them up and down and then make them longer or shorter just using those arrows. Adding filters was easy. Working with audio and text was easy. I really think the formatting option should be in the beginning so you decide the format rather than choosing that at the end. So I would choose the format first sometimes. But again, very, very solid app, five out of five. And I just only showed you the free option of the app. I didn't do any of the paid upgrades in this video, but a lot of them are useful, especially when it comes to some of the transitions and some of the text having much better fonts to use. Anyway, let me know what you think of it. Again, check out the other videos that I have on video editing apps on this channel and all the different app videos that are useful, especially if you have an iPhone. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.